Driving under the influence of any medication which impairs your driving is permitted. A. Under no circumstances. B. If you don't feel drowsy. C. If it is prescribed by a physician. A. Under no circumstances. It is illegal to drive under the influence of any substance that impairs your ability to drive safely. This includes alcohol, prescription medications, over-the-counter medications, and illegal drugs. This sign means A. Stop sign ahead. B. Railroad crossing ahead. C. Construction ahead. B. Railroad crossing ahead. A round sign always indicates that you are approaching a railroad crossing. You see pedestrians near the road. You should. A. Sound your horn and maintain your speed. B. Speed up to clear the area quickly. C. Slow down and pass with caution. C. Slow down and pass with caution. Watch for any pedestrian who may cross your path. If you see pedestrians near the road where you are driving, slow down and be prepared to stop, if necessary. The amount of alcohol in the blood is referred to as A. Implied consent, IC. B. Blood alcohol concentration, BAC. C. Rate of alcohol consumption, RAC. B. Blood alcohol concentration, BAC. Blood alcohol concentration, BAC, is a measurement of the percentage of alcohol in the blood. The higher the BAC number, the more impaired a person is. Want to ace your DMV test? Click on the link below and get your guaranteed cheat sheet. Highway pavement will be particularly treacherous and most slippery. A. If it has been raining several hours. B. If it has just begun to rain. C. If it has been raining for one to two hours. B. If it has just begun to rain. Pavement is particularly treacherous when it first begins to rain. Accumulations of dirt and oil mix with the rainwater, creating a greasy film on the roadway. To pass on a two-lane road, you should A. Sound your horn as you pass. B. Flash your headlights as you pass. C. Judge the distance to any oncoming vehicles. To see vehicles in your blind spots, you should check A. The inside rear view mirror. B. The outside rear view mirror. C. Over your shoulders. C. Over your shoulders. By definition, Blind spots are areas that cannot be seen using your mirrors. To check your blind spots, you should look over your shoulders. If a tire suddenly blows out while you are driving, you should A. Grip the steering wheel firmly, slow down, and exit the traffic lane. B. Pump the brakes rapidly. C. Brake hard and steer toward the right edge of the roadway. A steady yellow traffic signal light is a warning that the light is about to change to red. If you are already within the intersection when a green light changes to yellow, you should A. Stop. B. Continue moving and clear the intersection safely. C. Increase your speed so as not to cause an accident. B. Continue moving and clear the intersection safely. If you are already within an intersection when the traffic light turns yellow, 
You should clear the intersection as quickly as possible. You must yield to a pedestrian using a white cane or guide dog. A. Only when the guide dog is leading the person across the street. B. At all times. C. Only if a crossing guard is present. B. At all times. Pedestrians who use guide dogs or white canes, with or without a red tip, must be given the right of way at all times. Before stopping your vehicle at a traffic signal or sign, you should A. Press down hard on the accelerator. B. Check your mirrors for surrounding traffic. C. Set the parking brake. While driving at night, a vehicle coming toward you has its high beams on, making it hard for you to see the road ahead. You should A. Look ahead toward the left edge of your lane. B. Look ahead toward the right edge of your lane. C. Look straight ahead in your lane. B. Look ahead toward the right edge of your lane. If an oncoming driver fails to dim their high beams, you should avoid looking directly at the headlights. Instead, look toward the right edge of your lane and watch the oncoming vehicle out of the corner of your eye. A curb painted red means A. Loading zone B. The area is reserved for picking up or dropping off passengers C. No parking, standing, or stopping C. No parking, standing, or stopping You may not stop, stand, or park at a red painted curb This sign shows one type of A. Right turn B. Intersection C. Lane change B. Intersection Warning signs are usually yellow with black markings. This sign warns that your current road ends at an intersection straight ahead. Slow down and prepare to yield or stop before turning right or left. This sign means A. Reserved parking for persons with disabilities. B. Slow moving vehicle. C. No U turn. A. Reserved parking for persons with disabilities. This sign indicates parking spaces that are reserved for vehicles displaying persons with disabilities license plates, disabled veteran license plates, and or disabled parking placards. This sign indicates that the road ahead A. Turns sharply right, then left B. Curves right, then left C. Curves right B. Curves right, then left This sign warns of a reverse curve in which the road curves to the right, then to the left. tailgating other drivers, driving too closely to their rear bumper. A. Can frustrate other drivers and make them angry. B. Cannot result in a traffic citation. C. Reduces collisions by preventing being cut off. A. Can frustrate other drivers and make them angry. Tailgating is a common behavior that can lead to aggressive driving, and so it should be avoided. Drivers may face legal consequences for driving unsafely. This sign indicates a A. Railroad crossing B. Pedestrian crossing C. No passing zone A. Railroad crossing Yellow signs with black markings are used to warn drivers about upcoming hazards or special conditions. Round signs are used only to warn about upcoming railroad crossings.
When you see this yellow sign, you should A. Always stop at the crosswalk. B. Stop at the crosswalk until a crossing guard signals for you to go. C. Be prepared to stop if children are in the crosswalk. C. Be prepared to stop if children are in the crosswalk. A five-sided sign indicates that you are near a school. Be aware and stop if children are in the crosswalk. You are involved in a minor collision at an intersection. There are no injuries and there is very little vehicle damage. You should A. Leave your vehicle in the traffic lane until law enforcement arrives. B. Move your vehicle out of the traffic lane, if possible. C. Not move your vehicle for any reason. B. Move your vehicle out of the traffic lane, if possible. After a collision, if no one has been injured or killed and you can safely do so, you should move your vehicle out of the traffic lane. If your vehicle has a two-part safety belt system, you should A. Use only the lap belt. B. Use both the lap and shoulder belts. C. Use only the shoulder belt. B. Use both the lap and shoulder belts. If your vehicle has a two-part seat belt system, be sure to wear both the lap belt and the shoulder belt. Wearing either part alone greatly reduces your protection. If you have an automatic shoulder belt, be sure to buckle your lap belt as well. When driving under snowy or icy conditions. A. It is safe to use your cruise control. B. Make speed and directional changes more gradually than you would otherwise. C. Drive as you would under normal conditions. B. Make speed and directional changes more gradually than you would otherwise. When driving under snowy or icy conditions, you should make speed and directional changes gradually. Never use cruise control when driving on snow or ice because your tires may lose contact with the road and you will lose control of your vehicle. A pentagon-shaped sign is a A. Stop sign B. Regulatory sign C. School zone or school crossing sign C. School zone or school crossing sign A five-sided sign is used to alert drivers to a school zone. Some pentagonal signs specifically indicate crosswalks within school zones where children or other pedestrians may be present. After passing a vehicle, it is safe to return to your driving lane when A. The driver you passed signals for you to return to your lane. B. You signal your intention for three seconds. C. You see the headlights of the passed vehicle in your rear view mirror. C. You see the headlights of the passed vehicle in your rear view mirror. Before you return to your driving lane, be sure you are not dangerously close to the vehicle you have just passed. One way to do this is to look for the vehicle in your inside rearview mirror. When you can see both headlights in your rearview mirror, you may have enough room to return to your driving lane. A broken yellow line beside a solid yellow line indicates that A. Passing is permitted from the lane next to the solid yellow line. B. Passing is not permitted from either direction. C. Passing is permitted from the lane next to the broken yellow line. C. Passing is permitted from the lane next to the broken yellow line. A broken yellow line alongside a solid yellow line means that traffic in the lane next to the broken line may cross the line to pass, while traffic in the lane next to the solid line may not.